Okay, so moving on to A-level economics. So this is the second course I'm talking about today. And the pictures on the slide show kind of some of the key topics that you would discuss that we, that we would look at in A-level economics. So one is Brexit. Um, we will be looking at kind of uh, trade blocks, how countries trade with each other, which you can see kind of from the picture of the container ship. We will do a lot around international trade, how countries trade with each other. We will look at the national economy. So we will look at uh, the role of the Bank of England in the top right hand corner there. The role of the Bank of England in setting interest rates, in regulating the amount of money that's in the economy. And what we can do to try and stop things like recessions and try and encourage economic growth. We will also look at um, poverty and inequality. So there is a really diverse range of topics that is covered in A-level economics, both focused on the UK and global economics. And it will bring in many current topics, such as Brexit and the impact on the economy of COVID-19. So just an example of something that you would um, look at kind of why it happens. So about how a drought has destroyed crops in Australia and driven crop prices um, right up. You would look at kind of why the prices have gone up and maybe what to do to address that and apply that knowledge to uh, other sectors. So whenever we're talking about anything to do with prices or why the popularity of something goes up or why there's a shortage of something, that's all covered in economics. So again, it's a two-year course. You will sit three exams in year 13. Um, each of the exams is two hours long. Um, the course is split into four main themes. So as I've kind of just mentioned, theme one is uh, introduction to markets and market failure. So looking at what economics is, how markets work, why markets fail, and how the government can kind of help markets to succeed. Theme two is focused on the UK economy as a whole. So looking at um, what what kind of, how do we measure how successful an economy is? Um, what does the government want to achieve with the economy? Theme three is about business behaviour in the labour market. So looking at how businesses grow, what drives businesses, uh, and looking at business revenues, costs and profits, which you will hopefully recognise if you have done GCSE business. And finally, theme four is the global economics strand where you'll be looking at poverty and inequality, developing countries, the financial sector and things like that. Economics is a very popular course, almost all colleges and sixth forms and it is also a very popular degree option. Uh, myself and Mr Akuma did both did economics at university. In terms of what you can expect to do as a career, um, most people who do A-level economics would probably go on to university to either do um, to either do an economics degree or a similar degree, such as accounting or finance. But the skills gained in an economics degree are transferable to far more degrees than that. Um, it's a highly respected A-level and would also be well recognised in the workplace. Some of the careers maybe after university would be um, a career in finance, uh, banking, the financial sector, but also things like just kind of being an economist within a business that's maybe not a bank, so uh, a large retailer or something along those lines. And alongside that, you can also think about careers in politics, journalism and broadcasting. So what I mean by kind of careers not just in finance, when you choose economics, you're not just going to be number crunching, you're going to be learning about kind of how the world works, and that is highly relevant if you are interested in politics or journalism and broadcasting.